The U.S. Army has granted full rate production approval for the Armored Multipurpose Vehicle AMPV, as confirmed by a spokesperson from the Program Executive Office Ground Combat Systems to Defense News. Congress has allocated funding for the production of 72 vehicles in the first year. The official contract award to BAE Systems, the AMPV manufacturer, is still pending. In preparation for the full rate production decision, the U.S. Army has already awarded BAE Systems a contract worth $245.6 million in March 2023 and another contract for $120 million on August 3, 2023. These contracts are intended to purchase long lead items and ensure a smooth production process. Despite initial budget cuts, the Army will be able to increase AMPV procurement due to additional congressionally approved funding. This funding will cover some of the expenses associated with sending approximately 400 minutes and 113 seconds to Ukraine. The Army faced challenges in initial production at York, leading to a reduced plan to produce a brigade set annually. However, it has now been possible to restore the original fielding plans, aiming to produce a brigade and a half each year which means ramping up production from 12 vehicles per month to 16 over the next two years, Defense News reports. The Army's goal is to acquire a total of 154 new AMPVs to replace the existing M113S, utilizing the supplementary funding. On March 13, 2023, the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division, received the first AMPV, marking the beginning of its service to replace the M113 tracked armored vehicles in the U.S. Army. The AMPV is was designed to replace the M113 family of vehicles within the Armored Brigade Combat Team ABCT, making up around 30% of its tracked vehicle fleet. The Army plans to have a worldwide fleet of nearly 3,000 AMPVs delivered over the next two decades. BAE Systems, located in York, Pennsylvania, is responsible for producing the AMPV. The vehicle entered the low-rate initial production phase on January 25, 2019. Initially, the Army intended to acquire a total of 2,907 AMPVs, with the first vehicles scheduled for delivery in 2020. The AMPV program aims to replace 2,897 M113 vehicles at the brigade and below level within the ABCT. Another 1,922 minutes and 113 seconds supporting non-ABCT units, echelons above brigade, EAB units, are not included in the Army's modernization plan. According to Brigadier General Jeffrey Norman, director of the Next Generation Combat Vehicles Cross-Functional Team, the AMPV is a significantly improved platform compared to the M113S it replaces. It offers enhanced ruggedness, reliability, and capabilities, enabling ABCTs to transform their combat capabilities. The AMPV comes in five variants, offering soldiers improved survivability, protection, weight, size, power, cooling, and compatibility with future technologies. Notably, the AMPV shares a common powertrain and suspension with the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the M109A7 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, streamlining logistics and maintenance among ABCTs.